Insert two C24 and C22 into the A35 holes. Insert A35 with the pattern facing up. Spare parts for A35 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert the A35 component into the corresponding hole of the component. Place D20 into the corresponding position of the component. Insert two C14 into the corresponding holes of the component. Spare parts for C14 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert B10 into two B11 slots. Spare parts for B11 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert B12 into the B11 component slot. B12 pattern facing outward. Insert the B12 component into the corresponding hole of the component. Insert two G8 into the corresponding holes of the component. Insert G9 into the corresponding hole of the component. Insert G14 into the corresponding hole of the component. Spare parts for G8, G9, and G14 are available on the spare board. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert F5 into the corresponding position of the component. F5 pattern facing outward. Insert F6 into the corresponding position of the component. F6 pattern facing outward. Insert F7 into the corresponding position of the component. F7 pattern facing outward. Insert F8 into the corresponding position of the component. F8 pattern facing outward.
Insert A7 into two A8 holes. Insert the A7 component into the corresponding holes of the component. Insert 3F13 into the corresponding holes of the component. Spare parts for F13 are available on the spare board. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert H17 into the corresponding hole of the component. Align F14 with the holes and stack it on the component. F14 pattern facing outward. Insert C23 into the holes where F14 and the component overlap. Insert 4C9 into the A5 holes. C9 should be inserted into A5 with the pattern facing up. Spare parts for C9 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert A34 into the C9 section of the A5 component. A34 pattern facing outward. Insert A33 into the C9 section of the A5 component. A33 pattern facing outward. Insert 2I7 into the corresponding holes of the A5 component.
Insert 2D29 into the protruding positions on both sides of the A5 component. Spare parts for D29 are available on the spare board. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert the A5 component into the corresponding holes of the component. Insert 2D30 into the corresponding holes of the component. Insert G14 into the corresponding hole of the component. Insert G9 into the corresponding hole of the component. Insert A17 into the A15 hole. Insert A17 into A38 and A37 holes in the direction of A15. Spare parts for A17 and A38 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert A16 into the B9 hole. Spare parts for B9 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert P12 into the corresponding position of the A17 component. Insert the A17 component into the hole of A16 on the B9 component. The protruding part of A15 should clip onto the B9 component. Roll up the uninstalled end of B9 and insert it into the corresponding position of the component. Insert the B9 component into the corresponding hole of the component. Insert 2F10 into the corresponding positions of the component. F10 pattern facing outward. Insert F11 into the corresponding position of the component. F11 pattern facing outward. Insert 
Insert I6 into the F9 hole. I6 should be inserted into F9 with the pattern facing up. Insert the F9 component into the H18 hole. Insert the F9 component into the corresponding position of the component. Insert B6 into the corresponding position of the component. Insert B7 into the corresponding position of the component. Insert B8 into the corresponding position of the component. Insert B6, B7, and B8 into the corresponding positions of the component. Insert B15 into the corresponding hole of the component. Insert B16 into the corresponding hole of the component. Spare parts for B15 and B16 are available on board C. If any part is damaged, it can be replaced. Insert B15 and B16 into the corresponding holes of the component. Align A22, F12, and the A22 holes. Insert two F18 onto the protruding parts at both ends of the three components. Insert the A22 component into the corresponding position of the component. 